The Mind Reader, Part 2 After capturing Dr. Kangaroo, Thea was celebrated as the city hero, but she knew what this meant, more responsibility. Meanwhile, Frank's fondness towards Thea was simmering into a budding romance. Hi, Thea. Guess what? So your idea of a movie night is watching a murder mystery with me? Spoilers don't scare you? I do intimidate you a little, don't I? Maybe a little, in a good way. I get all tongue-tied around you. Oh, what's the point? You know that already. I do. I do. It's cute, though. Don't worry. I won't spoil the movie for you. You can't help yourself, miss. It's an occupational hazard. <laughs> Wow, a murder mystery in 3D. So, who do you think did it? Who is the culprit? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. Don't tell me. You're using your powers again. I promise. I'm not using my mind-reading powers. This is just my hunch. The woman with red hair. Excuse me. Will you two please keep it down? I don't buy that. Oops. Sorry, miss. I think it's the guy with the funny mustache, though. Wanna bet? Wait and watch. Now, shh. What's so funny? Are you solving the case before the detective does? Ugh, my head hurts. From solving the case? Haha. <laughs> Let's just say I have a clue about the killer. But don't worry. No spoilers from me. You're enjoying this way too much, Sherlock. Thea, my headache, it's getting worse. Maybe it's the 3D glasses. Oh, you want to get some water? Around interval time, Thea glanced at her phone and saw five missed calls from her boss, Officer Barton. Okay, fine. A hint? Well, let's just say the killer is not who you'd expect. Wait. Officer Barton called me like five times. I have no network on my cell phone. All right, that's intense. Do you want to use mine? Wow. You have five bars inside a movie theater. That's impressive. It's a new cell phone network called Hive. Their network is everywhere. I will be quick. Sure. Hello, sir. It's Thea, sir. Can you hear me? Hello? Barton, sir? Hello, who is this? Hello, it's too loud. Hive, the mobile network that knows you better than you know yourself. Hive just recommended a new coffee shop to me. Sounds amazing. Hive just told me my favorite band is coming to town for our concert. Wow. Hive knows your likes. Hive knows your dislikes. Hive knows you. Always learning. Switch to Hive. A -a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Sir, hello, it's Thea. I'm sorry I'm calling from another... No, I'm in a movie hall. Thea, I need you back at office. Can you come? Sorry, it's important. No problem, sir. Work is work. I'll be there in a jiffy. Thea went back to return Frank's phone. Thea, my head, I feel funny. Frank, I gotta go. Will you be okay? I'll call you. Bye. See you later. All personnel are expected to change their mobile network to Hive before the launch, which is in 48 hours. Excuse me, ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be right back. What's wrong, Barton, sir? Thea, I have some terrible news. Dr. Kangaroo just escaped Central Prison. Oh, no. The megalomaniac? This is bad news indeed, sir. I know. Bad enough, I just flew back from Hawaii. I knew you were in Hawaii, sir. And no, it's not your attire. I keep forgetting who I'm talking to. What's the presentation about? It's a debrief. Don't ask. 
There's this new gala event, Cell Phone Network Launch, in two days. I have orders to keep all officers on board for the event. The CEO, Zephyrus Bidex, is an asset. High-octane stuff. Hive? Yeah, been hearing a lot. Yes, Hive. Look, I've got to run, okay? And oh, nobody else knows about Dr. Kangaroo's prison break. Just you and me. Rest of the force is booked for the Hive launch. But sir, we need backup. Before Thea could explain the gravity of the situation, Barton rushed back to the presentation. Hi, Thea. You never called. Hey, Frank. How was the movie? I'm sorry I had to leave. It was important. Thea, I'm calling because I've got this nagging headache that won't go away. Oh, no, Frank. I'm sorry to hear that. What will help? I don't know. I've tried everything. Pain relievers, ice packs, even a hot shower, but nothing seems to work. Well, I'm no doctor, but I have a feeling there might be something else going on. Yeah, I've been seeing these weird flashes of color. It's like someone's tuning into my brain, and they're dialing up the contrast. Pop color visuals? Frank? I don't know, Thea. I'm starting to feel a little spooked. Don't worry, Frank. I'm on my way. Here, have you tried a hot cup of cocoa? Wow, that is one mean cup of cocoa. Thanks, I feel better knowing you're here. What were you telling me about those visions on call, Frank? Yeah, I've been having these pop-colored visions. Strange. I think the 3D glasses triggered my nightmare in the super lab. Thea, I think I remember something. He was building something. What is it, Frank? There was something else in the lab. You mean someone else? No, something. I'm getting fragments. It's like a part of me is still tethered to Dr. Kangaroo's super lab. Oh, Frank, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It is what it is. What did Barton want? After listening to Frank's woes, Thea thought it was best to not tell him about the latest development on Dr. Kangaroo. Uh, just a debrief. Frank could tell Thea was lying. A debrief at nine in the night on a weekend? Yeah, why would I lie? Hmm, okay. I better get some rest. Better get going too. It's late. Good night, Frank. He knows I'm hiding something, but how do I tell him without telling him that I don't want to freak him out? I wish he could read my mind instead. I like him too. The next morning, Thea went to Dr. Kangaroo's old super lab which was a possible hideout. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? Hi, sir. I'm a journalist, and I'm just looking to write an article. This used to be a laundromat, but a mad scientist was hiding a super lab under there. Mind control, they say. Would you believe it? That is wild. Yeah, the things you can do with a swipe on your phone. Hee <laughs> hee, technology. You look familiar, have we met? Oh, no, I have a common face. I get that a lot. But Harvey, you better stop leading Sophia on. She doesn't know you have a wife and catfishing is a cyber fraud, which is a punishable offense. Wait, how do you know that? I'm not getting into that. Do not cheat on your wife, Harvey. Okay, lady, okay. Are you a psychic or something? Worse, I can read your mind. Boo! The janitor ran away, and Thea looked around for clues. Where can I find him? <laughs> You're wasting your time, mind reader. You'll never find me. Dr. Kangaroo, I know you're here. Oh, but you're wrong, my dear. I'm everywhere. You're a monster. What are you up to? You will find out in less than an hour. I will have this city on a leash. No, you'll never succeed. I'll stop you. 
We'll see about that, mind reader. <laughs> Thea knew that she had a difficult task ahead of her. She was running out of time. What in the world is this doing here? Something's fishy. Thea, Zephyrus Videx is missing. I suspect he's been kidnapped. What? Sir, I'm at the old super lab, and I found something weird in the rubble. The event is about to start in an hour, and I'm panicking. We need the CEO for the opening speech. Sir, I have a conjecture. This is all too convenient. Dr. Kangaroo, the hive launch, the missing CEO. Sir, I have a strong intuition this is... Thea's phone call was interrupted by a loud, animalistic growl from under the warehouse, bellowing from the sewers. Thea? Hello, Thea? What was that? Sir, I gotta go. There is something here. Thea cautiously made her way through the labyrinth corridors of Dr. Kangaroo's old super lab. She followed the noise and stumbled upon a hidden facility deep down a spiral stairway in the city's sewers. Thea's jaw dropped. She saw something that sent shivers down her spine. With trembling hands, Thea loaded her gun. Hands in the air. Your phone knows you better than you know yourself. It knows your likes, your dislikes, your fears, and your dreams. Ha ha ha! What is that? What have you done? Behold, the Brainiac. All the information I gathered about the citizens through Hive are fed into my super cyborg here. Back off, I'm going to shoot. In a matter of minutes, the culmination of my life's work, the ultimate fusion of science and nature. I will have this city on a leash. How do you like my master plan, mind reader? This beast is my instrument of control. It will obey my every command and with it, I shall rule the city. I'm not giving up. I know there's a weakness in there somewhere. Thea had to act fast. She delves into the depths of his mind, searching for a weakness, a way to neutralize the beast. Thea found a deep-seated hidden insecurity. <gasps> that Dr. Kangaroo had buried beneath <laughs> layers of arrogance and his evil genius. Zephyrus, I'm sorry for what they did to you when you were a little boy, but this is no way to exact revenge. You are about to bring the entire city to your knees because of those bullies at school? That isn't fair. Listen to me, you are smarter than this. The city was safe once again. Thea proved herself to be a true force to be reckoned with. Stellar job, Thea. I'm recommending you for the Medal of Valor. This city owes you. She is the mind reader, the protector of the innocent, and she will not rest until evil is brought to justice, even if she has to fight it twice. Thank you.